Hi, I'm Jane Farnham, TV presenter and interior designer. I'm working with Terry's Fabrics to help you get the best out of your home improvements. In this series of short videos, we aim to take the issues our customers tell us that they're having with decorating and DIY and provide easy to follow, helpful solutions. This usually occurs in cottages with deep stone walls or where a window is positioned over a sink unit or kitchen worktop where there is a recess deep enough to accommodate a window seat or in dormer windows. The deeper the recess is, the less the amount of light that filters into the room. Think of the window as a tunnel. A short tunnel would let a considerable amount of light filter from one end to the other. Whereas with a long tunnel, you would be looking at a small dot of light at the far end, with very little light filtering through towards the opening. So the deeper the recess is, the less light that filters into the room. This scenario therefore requires simple window furnishings to avoid further obscuring the light source. Venetians and roller blinds will work well inside the recess as they have a shallow top stack when pulled up and will therefore take little light from the window. Roman blinds will work inside the recess if the folds are kept shallow, but if the folds and therefore the overall stack of the open blind are quite deep, then mounting the blind outside the recess is an option if there is enough wall space above the window to accommodate the stack without the bottom edge of the blind encroaching too far onto the window, obstructing valuable light. Simple curtains are an option if there is sufficient room either side of the window to extend a track or pole well beyond the recess to provide a substantial stack back area. This extra stack back is desirable as it would mean that the curtains would stack onto the wall space when open without encroaching more than a few inches onto the valuable window space. If light is an issue, then avoid bulky or heavyweight fabrics that will potentially block light and create volume when stacked open. Eyelets are a great space-saving option here, as often, even if the fabric is thick or heavy, the folds that eyelets create will stack in slim columns to either side of the window. In very deep recesses such as dormer windows, or if restrictions prevent mounting outside the recess, Dormer rods can be a solution to hanging curtains, as they hinge open to sit on the inside walls of the recess. This means that while you have curtains which fully cover the window when they are closed, there will be little or no fabric stacking against or encroaching onto the actual window when the dormer rods are swung into the open position. Using tiebacks on dormer curtains will keep them confined and neatly pleated against the side walls when the dormer rods are in the open position. And pulled back to create a decorative feature when the rods are in the closed position. Pelmets are not always advisable with deep recesses. Boxed pelmets will further add to the depth of an already deep recess and flush pelmets can look too far in front of, and therefore detached, from a blind fitted inside the recess against the frame. That said, if there is enough room above the window to accommodate it, a blind could be mounted beneath a shallow boxed pelmet, provided both are kept well above the window and no further light is prevented from filtering into the room. So this needs to be done with careful consideration given to depth and proportions. Well, I hope you found this video useful. There are more guides and lots more information on the Terry's Fabrics website. And if you're looking for inspiration, try clicking on the On Trend section where you'll find lots of useful tips and advice from seasonal fashions to useful products.